Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Legends Only. My name is T. Kyle. And I'm Bradley. And this is your weekly pop culture podcast where we talk about Legends Only. Yeah. We're back. We are. 80 years ago, there was a little event called the Met Gala. Oh. It's been a week. It was 80? Yeah, feels like it. I thought you did some deep dive research and that was when the first Met Gala was. You mean literally oh. a week ago when the Met Gala yeah. was? Oh. <laughs> no, no, I have no idea the history of the Met Gala. <laughs> I was briefly impressed. Oh. I was like, oh, are we going to get a fun fact about yes, the Met Gala? Yes, bonus episode, a deep dive into the history of the Met. I would like to see it as yeah. two fashionistas. Is Met Gala short for Metropolitan Gala? Yeah, the the museum. The, oh, the Met. Re- well, yeah. <laughs> I did know that, but I didn't know any whatever. It, well, the Metropolitan Museum. Of Art. Yeah, I get it. Anyway, um, <laughs> so <laughs> I think it's uh, only fitting, fit, oh, fitting. Mm-hmm. We'll be talking about those for us to start off this episode oh. with a supersized section of the the section this week. <laughs> <laughs> Some people were um, whatever. Roll the goddamn theme song. Hit it. High fashion. <laughs> So out of total. Guys, this is awesome. This is a billboard. This is super high fashion. Oh my god, that's so high fashion. So high fashion. There were lots of uh, fashion looks to it discuss. It was the most important question mark fashion event of the year, maybe? I think it's becoming even more of a thing. Maybe with social media and everything. Mm-hmm. Because the outfits were more relaxed 10, 15 years ago. And now it's like, you better match the theme. You better pull a stunt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's. I actually more. cared more about it than I thought I would care about it. Mm. Yes, I was like, "Oh, this is actually kind of nice." Yeah, just a little bit of like the Hunger Games, sort mm-hmm. of watching them while we are all suffering. Yeah, yeah, basically it's nice. But I agree. I also feel that th- it was pretty muted this year, mm-hmm. pretty quiet. Uh, but there were a lot of things to discuss. There was a lot of hype for certain outfits. There was. Um, some predictions came true. Some did. Some people didn't show up. Some did. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's talk about the hosts first. Let's talk about the live stream. Um, the live stream was Baby V, Vanessa Hudgens. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, serving. serving. My first uh, two to the week is to Vanessa Gilded glamour, I don't know, but gothic glamour, definitely. Mm-hmm. I This was no sneaker night. This was no this sneaker was night. This was chic night. This was stiletto night. Absolutely. She also went on a little tangent about shoes and nobody said anything. Nobody moved. I was like, it's sitting right there. The if joke. we were the correspondents. If we <laughs> if Kiki Palmer was there. Oh, she she's would say, too booked. She's busy Kiki, doing Kiki Keep a Job Palmer yep. has five million gigs. Yep. And it did make me miss her quite a bit because instead we got that sh- where she was posted last year now is Lala Anthony, who oh, yeah. is sort of I like did. a permanent friend of. Oh, I- <laughs> I've never, ever had a thought about her. Like her most iconic work is the Flavor of Love reunion. Okay. Okay. Yes. When, yeah. 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 Buck Wild almost got her with the shoe. <laughs> Could have happened at the Met Gala. Actually, though, (laughs) I wish someone would reference that. Yes. You're not going to hit me in the fucking head. (laughs) And maybe you don't need a massive personality to to do this job, but I did miss. Kiki obviously went viral multiple times from her gig. Oh, 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 oh. oh. I know it ain't (laughs) the style, yeah. So I did miss a little bit of that. I also think her interactions with Vanessa probably would have been iconic, Mm -hmm. whatever their histories might be. Um, and yeah, so, you know, it was a fine live stream. I watched crew. it on mute, so I didn't, <laughs> I was, I may or may not have been like watching the Met Gala while I was working. Right, right. Yeah. We were working. So I'd have it on mute, well. but yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, there were looks here and there. I did tune in to E! News for a hot second. Yes. you. Uh, speaking of hot second, hot mess, apparently. How do I say this? I I mean I'm annoying. Right. And I understand that. Right. However, this was something else. Was it the person or was it their coverage? See, I think it was just so many people with opinions that wanted to say their opinions oh. and the energy in the room was just like you know what I'm saying? And nobody's Joan Rivers. Like nobody can with do that. that. 
Yeah. And I also think, and this was a, an opinion on Twitter as well, like everybody is careful to be nice. Like if there mm-hmm. is dragging, it's not very, it's it's also not going to be on any of these shows anymore. Like, right, because everyone takes everything police. so seriously now. Right. Yeah. And so a lot of the people were like, all these celebrities are playing it safe because they are not scared anymore. Mm. They need to be like, they have the fear of God in them again. Yeah. Like, that would be me getting dragged. I would be a correspondent, and I'd be like, and here she is, our sneaker night chanteuse. Give it up for her. Isn't she amazing? Vanessa Hudgens, everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. It's sneaker night. And then I would get ripped. (sighs) I'd get dragged by all the little Gen Zers, now turned millennials. Right. The geriatric millennials. They'd be like, she is from my club music. (laughs) I'd get ripped. Right. Well, I think that there's an element of truth to that that we don't have any more um, mm-hmm. sassy yeah, critiques. Yeah, senses of humor. But, you know, we might have some opinions here right now because... Let's... Well, that's what we're here we're for. We're here for, As yes. the fashion experts <laughs> that we are... Sitting there front row in your Zara outfit. I'm in my Legends Only you sweatshirt right now, actually. Let's talk about high fashion, bitch. Let's talk about merch. Designed Available by yours, now. truly. The soundboard merch yeah, the logo t available now Slay! <laughs> i think she does need an update though oh i think so mm-hmm. capsule collection limited edition do i have death to all of them on there i don't think so this was before that what was that bop, 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 bop. oh this is so good we can add a line yeah a line or we two. have to add a couple i think yeah definitely need death to all of them i mean that's yeah an award-winning mm-hmm. line is this on here and you did it at my birthday dinner. <laughs> I know. I don't, I don't think, think so. that's on there. I'll have to look. We do need an update. I don't think that's on there. <laughs> anyway, um, yes, designed by me. Mm-hmm. What are you wearing tonight? Uh, low. Tikal Couture. <laughs> <laughs> low in the rainbow print. <laughs> Available at the website link that has our merch, which is in our bio on our social media. Yes. So, and we yeah. will be eagerly awaiting when you buy a table at the Met for the Tikal X Posh Collection. Oh, <laughs> those two words in the same sentence. Yes. Um, unless you're talking about posh spice. Oh, no. I was talking about the, oh, Porsche. Is it Porsche or posh in New Jersey? Housewives? Oh, piece of shit, co-core, <laughs> home wrecker every day. Exactly. That's, <laughs> That's the collection I was thinking for. of. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, um, why don't we get on with the actual looks of the night? Yeah. Some highlights, some lights. <laughs> well, speaking of highlights, oh, she was basically wearing it. A highlighter, uh, Gwen Stefani. Gwen Stefani, fucking slayed. That was that was a slay. She's had some choices in the past. <laughs> yes, sonically and relationship wise. Nope. Yep, yep. This she though, said, let me reintroduce myself. Slay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Neon, gorgeous. Yep, gorgeous. If she was serving looks like this years ago, everyone would have streamed. Baby, don't lie. It's the truth. I said it. Well, I think she looked fantastic. I had nothing to do with the theme, and that's fine with by no, me. No, there was no gilded glamour here. No. This was highlighter chic, <laughs> and I stan. Um, yeah, so there were some looks that we'll discuss as well. Um, co-chair of the evening. Now, this one, arguably, I think, fit the bill the most. Slay! Miss Blake Lively of The Shallows, okay, and Gossip Girl, was co-hosting, co-chairing the gala, and she came with a reveal. Mm-hmm. She did a drag queen stunt. I Granted. think this is my favorite. Yeah. After just... thinking about it really long and hard for mm-hmm. the past week. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She showed up and basically served every famous building of New York in one. And there was so much meaning and depth to it. Mm-hmm. And the actual first outfit itself looked like a mosaic that you just wanted to get really close up and look at all the details of. Because there was so much going on. It looks like the Empire State Building. It looks like the Chrysler Building. I It... Very New York. And then we open up the train and we get this long cascading blue sort of, it was like the two sides of the Statue of Liberty color, yeah. right? And then the actual details on that train were the Grand Central Terminal roof, I believe. I was obsessed. It was good. It was really good. Even just the concept of the copper is brilliant. The copper, yes. I forget what it's called when it does that. They just added it to Minecraft though copper and it does oh. that so if you make your roof out of um copper yeah it oxidizes and like turns oxidizer there you go so someone needs to remake blake lively's dress in, <laughs> in minecraft. minecraft uh it's a concept for you but um, yeah 
I just thought like on all levels, it was Gilded Glamour. It was New York. Met Gal- like mm-hmm. all of it was like, what a full, complete toot. For the and evening. she just looked so excited to be there. Yes, she did. And she had a great little story that she told about the outfit as well. Like she had her spiel pre- like prepared for the mm. for the night. Fashion's supposed to be fun. <laughs> and she has pretty reliably done well every gala as well. She, she's a her track she's record a subtle, is yeah, she's a subtle hit maker on the charts at Met Gala. <laughs> um she just needed the sharks from the shallows to be complete. I've never seen that. It's a shark movie. Oh. Um as we know, I've seen every shark. How does movie. it compare it to the Meg? Oh, <laughs> well, equally unrealistic, but s- no, a li- slightly. The more. Meg is the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. So, yeah, the Meg is fun, bad. Whereas the Shallows had some choices. Yeah, it wasn't terrible. Good luck with Sharknado eighteen. Good luck with the Shallows mm-hmm. eighteen. I always take your advice. You're the best. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Tara. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking whore. <laughs> Slams a mic down. Anyway. Sorry, anyway. Oh, okay. Other highlights. Well, the rumor was started to percolate about a few hours before the event, and I wasn't sure if it was true because everything is embarrassing. However, lo and behold, Sky Ferreira. Slay! Don't forget, she is coming. Even though she said it would be in April, it is May. Arrived on the carpet a decade after her last appearance, looking gorgeous and a white dress and a big crucifix. And I just thought that she looked like a woman. She just looked gorgeous to me. She also looked maybe a little nervous to be there. Her first big event in a very long time. She went to the Boom Boom Room after party, I believe. And... Gave a quote like, of course I have music coming. Why would I be at this party until 3 a.m.? Which is fantastic. <laughs> but yeah, this was a very uh, personally gratifying appearance for me. Didn't necessarily give gilded glamour, but I do think she looked glam. Yeah, it gave glamour. Yeah, and I feel like gilded glamour is like... Also, she's so elusive that it's nice to see her yeah. out there. It is. It's... It's truly She is wild. coming. She is coming. This is a commitment. It is. It's a $35,000 commitment, I believe. Is that oh. the ticket price? I don't know. Um, It's something like that. It's like, it's an absurd amount of money. Unless you get asked to be there by a sponsor. Oh. Yeah. So. Well, it goes to support the arts. It does. They raised, I believe, and like fashion. $17 million for the man for the Met. In one night? Yeah. Something oh. crazy. Yeah. So. Um, but very happy to see Sky, and we'll be even happier to see the uh, single drop, which is definitely coming. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Now, the bigger story about Sky that I'm forgetting is that she became part of a Uh-oh. disinformation campaign. Oh, <laughs> involving she did. the richest man in the world, Elon Musk, who previously appeared with then girlfriend Grimes. Some f word on Twitter. Changed their handle to New York Post, but it was like New York Prost. Changed yeah, their but then it was also Pop, pop Crave. Craw Way or something. <laughs> yes. Craw. Tweeted out, It girl, singer-songwriter Sky Ferreira refused to go on a date with Elon Musk at the Met Gala. And I saw it when it got like a thousand likes and I was like, oh, that's a fun little stand tweet for the day. Mm-hmm. Then I saw it because somebody sent it to me with like 41K. And I'm like, oh, this is making headlines now. Mm -hmm. Of course, nobody's going to see that it's spelled wrong in the handle. I've fallen for a fake tweet before. All the time. And so did Mother Musk. (laughs) Mother Musk clapped back at this report and said, I was with him. Yeah. (laughs) I was with him. There was no team. False. And then Elon had to reply to his mom on Twitter to be like, mom, no. This is a stan tweet, but headlines are running. How do you like that free speech now, Mr. Musk? I. Uh, this is what. And then you've got all these. If you cannot tell the difference between a stan tweet yeah. and something real, and you own the website now, well, almost. Yeah. I mean, he understood it, but his mom didn't. But 
This does mean, number one, that he had to com- have a conversation with his mother about Sky Ferreira, which is more promo than Capital would ever be able to spend on her. Yeah. So that's a win for the community, the Ferreristers. But also, it means that she's just part of the cultural zeitgeist without even doing anything, which yep. is perfect. Literally did nothing. Did nothing. Yep. So Probo. <laughs> she is the it girl once <laughs> again. Like It just happens to her. So I'm very fortunate for the F word who did that. Um, and yeah, of course. And then all all these like Republican state representatives and stuff were like atting Elon being like, I could tell this is a PR stunt by this Ferreira girls team. Like clearly this was a coordinated effort. And it's like, what? it's embarrassing that any of you have held public office, though not surprising. All these like elected officials and idiots are being like, oh, I smell another media stunt. It's like, welcome to Twitter. Every day this happens on Stan Twitter. The irony of them talking about media stunts when I, all they do is tweet. <laughs> Go write a fucking bill instead of a 140 a character bill. tweet, you dumb fucks. But uh, yeah, so that that actually ended up being like one of the fun stories to come out of the Met Gala. We so, love promo. We love promo. <clears throat> well, the other big story, of course, is one that we had been tracking. Yeah. And I'm going to say the story leading up to it mattered more than the actual moment. Because the hype of it. I sort of agree. Because we're talking about Kim Kardashian. Pretty legendary, if you ask me. I love it. Wearing the happy birthday JFK Maryland dress valued at nearly $5 million on loan from Ripley's Believe It or Not. Confirmed to be true. The rumors were wild on TikTok. Yeah. Backstage video, everything. Yeah. The backstage video of that fitting. I just feel like what we actually got from it was not that legendary. She looked gorgeous, of course. And I don't really believe in the whole, like, holiness of the outfit. Like, no one can ever touch it or where I'm not that precious about it. However, 60 seconds of tight, shuffling, nervous, going up the stairs and, like, not breathing and having trouble walking. Is it worth it? I don't know. Because it didn't feel very fierce. Like... The idea of you wearing the dress is fierce, but, like, the execution is, like... I get what you're saying. uh, Like, Blake Lively's reveal, even though it took a hot second for them to, like, undo it and untie it, had, like, a life to it. Yes. It, like, radiates a sort of, I don't know... Energy. Yeah. I don't know. Sparkling energy. Sparkling energy. I get that. Yeah. Yeah. It also, the way they cleared it (laughs) made it also very hype... The Blake Lively? No, Kim. Like how she was oh, the, last, it, the one. last person on the car. They cleared everything. Which they did for Rihanna and ASAP well, last deserved. year. Deserved. It's usually a, at this point, it's like a show stopper at the mm. end of the, you know, the red carpet. I just feel like, yeah, it was 60 minutes of it and then immediately into a replica dress that, to be honest, most people on Twitter are already like, I refuse to believe the real one was ever even worn. The, the conspiracy theories have always popped off already about, yeah. like, was that the real one? I think it was. I, I definitely think for that brief moment, mm-hmm. shuffling up to La La was, was the real one. I, don't, I just don't know if it was that amazing. Um, I also feel like her wet look is still my favorite of anything oh, she's won. Oh, yeah, that one's a slay. That's one I can think of that's like, god damn, that was good. Um, and feels more her. This was an elegant dress, obviously, but I... I don't know. It felt like dress up. It was subdued. Yeah. yeah I do think she slayed though. I like the photo shoot of any, mm-hmm. if anything, um, yeah. was the best part of it. But I, I did It didn't live... give me gilded glamour either. No, it I, is glamour. Yeah. It, it's in the sense that it's like American history and whatever. Mm-hmm. It all ties in well. But I think the funniest thing was really just her being lined up with her sisters. And as somebody pointed out in a tweet that went viral, this is what Fifth Harmony used to look like showing up to every event. <gasps> oh, <laughs> that one was a good one. Also, what was sending me in the background of the live stream yeah. was Chris Jenner <laughs> perched, yes. waiting with her little bob, right. with her phone, like just yes. waiting. Well, I, I had seen or heard her say that she, her favorite thing is to wait up there for her girls. Oh. So she was just waiting for them all to shuffle in. Literally shuffle for yeah. the case of Kim. I don't even care that much about the sanctity of like wearing the outfit and stuff. I know there was a lot of like... 
No, I think it's iconic. But it's more like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Thankfully, she didn't fall. Well, yeah, because it would have ripped. That would have been fucking crazy. (laughs) I mean, it could have, yeah. Yeah. I will never really award a sleigh to the Kardashians in general, but, you know, a spectacle was had. It Yes. I would wear it in Fortnite (laughs) if they added it. Also, last year's. Yeah. I'm not giving the idea. They'll do She would do it. She would do it. Absolutely. If she doesn't go and sue Roblox, but. Mm-mm, right. Oh, right. The Kim K Fortnite skin collection, I would buy it. So I yeah. can't say anything. It was definitely the talk of the evening. She mm-hmm. succeeded in doing that. So there, there you go. Yeah. I almost just wonder if the dress would have been more effective at a different event. I don't know. I mean, the presidential, she had just gone to the. Uh, White House Correspondents' Dinner. Mm. I'd almost put it I actually feel like they sense. wouldn't have let her worn it in mm. a space where people would be next to her. Right. Right. They were it like, oh, they're be... going to clear the carpet. Yes. No one's going to be touching you. Yeah. No one's going to be near you. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So there was, there was that. I mean. Work. Work. Well, any other slays for you that stand oh, out? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The true queen of the night i said slays i thought you said <laughs> miss no, no, you thought i said ray <laughs> <laughs> goddess and slay addison ray was there <laughs> as well dressed as a disco ball mm-hmm. for her lgbt's in an outfit that i read took over 350 hours to embroider or create whatever doing this very amusing hand gesture hands up pose on the whole red carpet she's just happy to be there yeah i can't help but stan i know (laughs) she should have worn the maryland dress (laughs) i would have lived that would have been a scandal (laughs) i would have lived i just find her very amusing and then she went out in a very revealing outfit after Mm -hmm. she did a little photo shoot afterward as well so rise up little rays of light she represented us. I still can't believe she has not released I Got It Bad. I know. I really can't. laughing in our faces. Like, just put it out. I'm guessing that she's at this point building an EP or an album to, like, all put it out there. Cause or do we think she's done? It's possible. It's possible. Imagine having, like, a bop just sitting on your hard drive like that. I can and think not of putting it out. every pop star. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say. Rebellion. Leak Rebellion. <laughs> Imagine just sitting there with yeah. Rebellion MP3. Um, oh. But yeah. I'm trying to think if there's any other slays that stood out. There were people that I... The thing is, like, I didn't dislike almost anything, really. I thought everyone looked really nice and cool and good. <gasps> Sean Mendez. I really want that coat. I am kind of a whatever they're called... It's giving little chairs. It's giving chair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's giving it's giving chair. It was good. That was a sleigh. Yeah, I want that coat. Real that bad. entire yeah. I think a man looks so attractive, fully covered in a suit. I know we differ on this opinion. <laughs> just but about like how I never wear a <laughs> suit, a nice tailored suit with like a yeah. whatever these are called. No, I agree. Serve. It's so much more attractive. Throw glasses on them. Ah. Uh, you and the glasses. You and a pair of glasses, mm-hmm. and it's over. And a good fitted blazer. Mm-hmm. No, he looked really, Slime. really sharp. He looked good for mm-hmm. sure. Who else? Normani. <gasps> Slay. Normani was great. Um, when is she not though? Yeah, it was. It was always going to be a sir. And Anita. I thought Anita actually did guilty glamour, like with the pearl kind of look. Mm-hmm. If I remember, it was good. I I would like um like a refresh on the theme. Something really specific next time. Like something that's, I think we were kind of like spitballing ideas the other day where it's like, you must adhere to this theme. Something yeah. more, something less va- vague than what they've been given. Because I just think that they killed it across the board for Heavenly Bodies. They understood mm-hmm. exactly it should be a little blasphemous, a little religious. Scandalous. A little so scandalous. I still think geometry would be a good one. I, I'm loving your geometry idea. Um, yeah. Yeah. Under the sea. I think they should go under the sea in honor of live action Little Mermaid 
Hallie can be a co-chair for the mm-hmm. year. They could honor the space museum and do like extraterrestrial Ooh. out of this world. I do like that. Yeah. Starry nights. Astral <laughs> projections. Sparkles. <laughs> the theme is <laughs> glitter and glam. <laughs> Uh, well, speaking of uh, the museum, oh, well, that's right. One of our faves who was not there, right? She was there in, in spirit, CGI. In CGI, spirit. Rihanna got a statue. Yes. Fake CGI. A fake. C- However, I did hear that they got plenty of requests from visitors that day asking to see the statue. Many people came oh, in I person believe it. asking to this see it. This was fake news. And to be honest, when you first <laughs> watch it, fake. you're like, oh. Oh, I thought it was real. I thought it was real. Yeah. Yeah. So I am not surprised. Many visitors are coming in asking to see the pregnant Rihanna statue. Misinformation. We love to see yeah. it. Sometimes it works out for us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it probably promoted the museum. Mm-hmm. Promoted... Get rid of the fucking T-Rex or yeah. whatever that is in there. Put this up. <laughs> Whatever that's called, Brontosaurus. Oh, yeah, they, we took out a Michelangelo and we yeah. put in the Rihanna. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, work. <laughs> well, speaking of Rihanna, and I guess, are we, uh, are we heading out of the museum? I think so. Spent enough time there? I feel like that was all of my feelings. There's really nothing else that stood out. Yeah, the thing is, like, I'm not, I think there were other years where people were, like, mad about it. I think everyone looked nice, but it wasn't particularly a very um, showy no. year. It's kind of muted. That's fine. I did like Katy Perry's tit hanging out. Right. <laughs> the tit, tit, that did happen. I liked the reference painting, though. I didn't get it until I saw the... Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I still wish Rue was there in drag. I cannot believe Rue spent her Met Gala experience out of drag. Mm-hmm. It was horrifying. Rue's photo shoot with Annie Leibovitz was Gilded Glamour. Oh, yeah. Like, that look was Gilded Glamour. Yeah. She's she over it. It's fine. She won't. Yeah. Just to perform for three seconds at the beginning of the <sighs> finale at this point. Yeah. Uh, well, speaking Anywho, of people Rihanna. who used to perform. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Rihanna did appear in a music video this week. It was not her own as suspected. It was ASAP Rocky and she does get married in this video. I don't know if you watched. I, it was very interesting. DMB is the song and it's basically a love story between the two and they end up getting married in it. The editing of it, I think you'd be very interested in. It's got some very interesting techniques like film wise that are Mm. cinematography, cinematography that I think you would be inspired by. It's got some interesting elements to it, but yeah, basically it's a NYC love story sort of situation. We did see them hanging out the balcony last year and everyone's like Rihanna's shooting confirmed like video. Mm-hmm. But then more people were like, it's probably for him. And it was indeed for him. Yeah. So we won, but we lost. Uh, it's cool to see her in a music video, but. I love that Rihanna is like one of the only pop stars that's like feels New York now. Mm. I don't know how to describe it. Like Mariah is New York. Yeah. You know, because she's the penthouse, mm-hmm. the subway photos, like her Thoroughly backstory, yes. the book. Like she's New York City. Now that Rihanna is always in and out here, yeah. she kind of feels like, you know, I don't know. I, there's something about it that I yeah. love. Like all the people that are like, oh my God, I ran into Rihanna at this deli, like downtown. I'm like, that's just fucking cool. God, I wish. Yeah. Yeah. And Hanging Madonna too. Oh yeah. yeah. You'll see her stomping down Times Square for you. We will be discussing Madonna later. Hang tight. You're on notice. <laughs> yes. Teasing. <laughs> Uh well, speaking of NYC, yes, the girls, the girls are here. York, they are here. Get your New cameras. York City's back, baby. <laughs> Get your flip phones out because you never know when you're going to catch a legend in your midst. Mm-hmm. Because somebody was strolling along in Central Park, yes. on TikTok, and it was not me. <laughs> it was surprisingly not you or Luann. I am very upset. It was not you. Yeah. You're like feeding a bird and she's in the background. Miss Lana Del Rey was captured in a now viral TikTok just getting her picture drawn Mm -hmm. by caricature picture. Yeah, I've seen that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Just (laughs) young and beautiful playing and it pans up and it's literally Lana just sitting there alone like, hey. Yeah. Did you see the TikToks of the person filming the raccoon though? It was like 
they were trying to get away with filming Lana. Oh. So they were filming <laughs> the, the squirrels and the raccoons. Yeah. No, I didn't see yeah. it. Wow. I pet a raccoon in Central Park. You would or you did? No, I did. Wow. Yeah. You're They're actually really friendly. With anyway. danger there. Rabies. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't know until it's too late with rabies. That's a oh. fun fact. Once you start displaying symptoms, it's too late. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why. <laughs> Well, if this, ep- if this episode never publishes, no, this is like a year ago. I feel like I would know by now. You it would didn't know by bite now. me. There you go. You're fine. Do you get rabies from touching things? No. no it would it would bite you. Yeah. yeah. You're fine. Okay. God. <laughs> yeah. So if Lana or a raccoon bites you, you got to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So she's, she's here. Our Brooklyn baby is here. Which I'm personally very excited about. I hope she's inspired and reinvigorated here because I need her to like give us an NYC album again. She's had her fun being soft and heavenly in California. But like, can we get back a little bit to the... I don't like cities, but I like New York. I wish. Other places... <laughs> Make me feel like a it, dork. Can you hear it though? Uh, yes. Also, did you get the reference? No, uh, I'm unfamiliar <laughs> with the subject matter. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that was really good. That literally would be her that, doing that. You just sang half of her next album. <laughs> Maybe so. Maybe so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, you need to edit underneath a little orchestration, of and it's what? literally going to be just orchestral sounds of like. Strings, like a, string. a swell of strings. What key is that in? I'll have to look it up. It, literally, you could do that. I don't like cities, but I like New York. I wish. Other places make me feel like a dork. Okay. Yeah. Well, from New York to across the pond, it's time for a little UK minute. Mm hmm. We did have two-fifths of a Spice Girls reunion. We did. Actually, we have another two-fifths as well on The Circle. We did discuss that. Yes. Um, but in this case, we're talking about Mel B and Victoria, which is a pairing I did not expect. Me neither. Actually, anyone with Victoria. I, that's what I was going to say. I was like, <laughs> I was not expecting her to ever speak to them again. I am thoroughly shook by that. Yes. We got a very sweet post from Mel B. She just celebrated her birthday. Mm-hmm. And she posted with Victoria... And she said, my Spice sister, Vic, I can't thank you enough for your enormous generosity. Not only did you dress me and my mom, but you surprised me by actually being there to fit us. It was so special. Thanks to you and your fabulousness. Mm-hmm. Now, it was still fashion related. So I guess that is why Vicky B would be in the picture. But they looked fantastic together. I'm sure Mel started to bring up a reunion tour and Victoria was like, I, I just need to powder my nose for a moment. And then she never I returned to the can. table. Power of two is nothing new. No. Power of three, not meant to be. Power, Power of four. four needs one girl more. Shall I continue? <laughs> you could, but then we just launch into the think opening. Think of the things that she could do. At this point, I think she's settled. I think she, I. They did just have the wedding. Yeah. The sun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll see. Yeah. It was still nice to see that happen. See the girls on social media. Mm-hmm. I still haven't set up my brickheads yet. You got to do Over that. There. Your Lego they're so ugly. Spice Girls. They're not cute. They're, <laughs> they're <laughs> so, they are, they're cute. They're ugly. <laughs> but they're so ugly, they're Stop cute. Stop right now. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> I need somebody with a more human face. That's why she quit the Spice Girls. Probably because of the that. Legos. She yeah. was like, okay, I knew my avatar in Goodbye was bad, but... <laughs> Viva forever. That's what I was thinking of. Oh, iconic. Uh, well. Speaking of avatars and social media. Yes. I think it's time that we dive into the deep trenches for a little bit of TikTok, TikTok talk. talk. Slay through the day. Slay, slay, slay. Slay through the day and never give away the queen and the slay and the boots and the house down. Okay? Slay, okay. Slay LGBTQ plus community. Slay, slay, slay. Queen. Slay the Boots House down. Boots House down, slay it. Slay it, queen. Never get in the way. Be gay. Yay. Addison did this. Oh, my God. When she was in that um, 
uh, convertible thing or she was hanging out of a car. Uh huh. She's like, slay, slay, slay. She Charlie is, XCX did it. She's our fiercest fighter. Mm-hmm. Yes, there is a new TikTok sound going around. Slay through the day. Slay, slay, slay. <laughs> if you catch LGBTQ, it. LGBTQ. Yeah. Rise up. Cause, slay while you still can. Because the rest of you are embarrassing us <laughs> on oh, the why? platform. Oh, just oh, always. Wait, yes, we'll be getting into it. <laughs> There's a lot of F word news. There's um, a lot of F word news. That's basically this segment. Uh, let's talk well, about the F word. <laughs> well, actually, let's let's talk about <laughs> <laughs> someone who was trying to F an F word. Actually, wanted to be in this play called Wicked. I'm making this broad connection right now. Her name is Leah Michelle. Uh oh. What did she do now? Uh, did it get nothing. worse? No, I was just making the wicked connection right oh. She's still not in it. But Defying Gravity has this moment. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. Yes. <laughs> it's making this very broad connection to Defying Gravity. Mm-hmm. As the Broadway experts that we are. The play with the witch. Yeah, I know. And You're never going to bring me down. Yeah, it's, Bop. That's right. Mm-hmm. And there is a note in that song that the Broadway gays live for specifically. And they have compilations of all the women of Broadway who nail the note. Mm -hmm. And there is an incredible edit to this now. And we can thank at not be finer. Listener of the pod. Listener of the pod. Mm -hmm. Could not believe. I see you with your viral TikToks. Could not believe with my ears and eyes has created edits of the Defying Gravity note, mm-hmm. which are getting increasingly more chaotic yep. and fantastic. Throwing in <laughs> viral moments. We'll, we're going to insert, because you have to like hear it to get it. Yeah. The girls that get it, get it. You should see the original. It's actually, you know, I'm not a Broadway gay, but I do find it like special to watch how every actress took on the note. That was like interesting just from a vocal perspective. Oh. But now with this little tweak, it's even better. (laughs) (laughs) A a cacophony of brilliance. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And nobody in all of us. (laughs) <laughs> no F word that there is or was <laughs> is ever gonna suck my ass. Slay. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that was a, a that was chaotic. a fun little surprise. Uh huh. Um, speaking of the F words, you had a little yeah. update, a local update. Yeah. So breaking news from Brooklyn three dollar <laughs> bill. <laughs> yeah. So we have some. How, what, what do we even call this little? We this, she's starting. I think we have a uh, correspondent, a um, <laughs> a military combat correspondent on the sidelines. Stephanie Germanata reporting live from Three Dollar Bill. <laughs> what can you tell us with side C updates? <laughs> the combat journalist, the LGBTQ plus community, the artistic community. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Breaking. Icons like your grandmother, <laughs> your school teacher, your neighbor. They were all at Tai Chi. Yes. <laughs> there was a little TikToker there. Uh huh. Axel Weber, you know, the small apartment gay. He didn't get into Juilliard. Yeah. And then went viral, got dragged for going viral. Oh, the tiny apartment. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. So he's he always was like, at- running around the city. Yeah. Like he- buying things on the street. Yeah, right? okay. and like running. Running. Um, I have seen. So the other day, he broke into oh. a building like over a couple blocks oh. in like Times Square. Oh, no. Climbed up. The TikToks will literally give you whatever that feeling is that makes you feel like you're about to fall off a building. Oh, no. I was Was shook. he the, the pro-life guy who scaled that building and got arrested? No. Oh. <laughs> but he literally broke into a building in Times Square 
okay. then like filmed himself like selfie style hanging off the no. side of the building. No, ma'am. Is it worth it? But anywho, then he went to Tai Chi <laughs> and was spotted at Tai Chi and he was getting dragged on Twitter and then Ty tweeted and was like, he was nice. Oh. So we stick to peacemaker. Okay. Yeah. Well, the tides have turned. Yeah. Then there was also <laughs> a video that went viral of two <laughs> F words in a stall. This I did see. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. She They're, was struggling to get up. The, the feet were in the same direction. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> 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 yeah, they sure got you at the $3 bill bathrooms. That's for yeah. sure. <laughs> Something else will get you there. Oh, well, um, congratulations to everyone who's ever been to Tai Chi and to the kickoff of I'm gonna have to go. Yeah. Yeah. I'm working Sundays through it. um through May. Well. And then I'm gonna go. Document it. Yep. I might wear Marilyn Monroe's dress. <laughs> yeah. And you did it in Marilyn Monroe's dress. Yeah. Well, I hope you do. I'll be wearing Willa Ford's gown. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But yeah, that's the uh Thai tea tea. There you go. I can't wait to be like on the ground. Yeah, Reporting you and live. Gaga, combat journalists. Yeah. <laughs> They're playing into you. Everyone is shaking. <laughs> oh, we got a thousand tops. <laughs> they would. Oh, of course. Yeah. Uh, then just a, a small little shout out to Stan Twitter, who is truly, clearly deranged this week between Elon and uh, this new term, swimming in the mother lake. Or she I'm was in the mother lake. Explain this. I don't. I have not heard this. Uh, this is not on my FYP. I was hoping you could, or anybody could. Oh. The Mother Lake has become the new term to go. It seems completely random. Now it's just pop stars in water and people just declaring she was swimming in the Mother Lake with this one. I. Yeah, I. <laughs> it sounds like a Bjork lyric, and I thought that's what it was at first. Okay, so there's a tweet. Oh. It's posting uh, Katie and Nikki at the Met Gala saying swimming in the mother lake. Yeah. It's like the new term for serving, slaying, swimming in the mother lake. It's something to keep on your radar. If you see it, don't panic. It's something of note that might there be on your timeline. There is a hungry mother lake in Virginia. <laughs> well, we should be swimming in it. Wow. Yeah. Mother with son swimming in lake stock photo. <laughs> um, <laughs> this should honestly be it. Oh my God. She is swimming in yeah, the mother lake. Yeah, she's literally swimming. <laughs> you can buy for nineteen ninety nine personal use. Oh, perfect. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't really get it. More on like... this More on this soon. I do think it has been used in some funny ways on Twitter. But yeah, if you see this term pop up, the new, this is the evolution of our vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There is a um, UrbanDictionary.com oh, okay. of it. So the first one says, the lake where Rosalia swam before <laughs> releasing El Ma... Ma whatever that's El Ma mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it said, uh, example, she did backstrokes in the mother lake. <laughs> See? That's... Yeah. Okay. And then this other one, this is kind of long. Bear with me. Okay. Oh, yeah. But maybe this will This could probably the light. unpack the lake. The mother lake. A fictional body of water where many female actors, singers, performers, or other artists are jokingly presumed to have created or prepared their best work, which is then celebrated and discussed by their respective fan communities on social media. That actually perfectly helps me explain Mm -hmm. it. The visual description of the Mother Lake is open to interpretation. (laughs) Some view it as simply an I know this word because it's a um, Lady Gaga song. Enigmatic. Yes. Wooden dock on a mist shrouded pond. Oh, I love the visual. Others envision it as a, why the fuck are they using all these big words? Sapphic. Mm -hmm. Sapphic? Sapphic. Sapphic. That means of lesbian origin. (laughs) Lesbian related. Just say lesbian. (laughs) I thought you were American. (laughs) Throwback. Um, 80s summer camp on a lake populated by canoes and a serene sunset. Okay. It is thought that the mother lake contains healing or regenerative properties, which female artists harness as a source of energy to create what their fans consider flawless or excellent work. (laughs) Friend, 
have you listened to Fiona Apple's album, Fetch the Bolt Cutters? <laughs> Me. Of course, she took a dip at the Mother Lake before writing that album. It really is just mm. that stupid and perfect. Yeah. Okay. She took the queen boat into the mother lake <laughs> looking for a serve fish and she caught it. I think everyone got bored with slay and <laughs> s- like scalped and slay. slay. So now they've got to dive into the deep waters of the mother lake. Got it. For a new greater term. There you can really build a mythology with that. Mm-hmm. Met Gala 2023. Uh, the mother lake. The mother lake. Hello. There we go. Hello, it ticks all the boxes. That is the, the highbrow version of Under the Sea. Yeah. Yeah. We've just figured it out. Watch. Anna, call us. Mm-hmm. There you go. She was swimming in the mother lake. She certainly was. Well, there we go. This is what we do on the podcast. We it break is. down culture. Mm-hmm. We take all of the things um, <laughs> that you need to know about me, uh, let you know. That mm-hmm. Stan Twitter says and breaks it down. Yep. Well, well. Speaking of swimming in the Mother Lake. Yeah, I think a couple of our girls did this week. Did they? Yeah, they took a, they dipped their toe One of my faves in the did. Mother Lake. Yeah. There was a man. One person who got the map into... quest directions to the wrong lake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Christina Aguilera for ways directing you to the Mother Lake. Someone do it. Anyone out there with. Did I tell you that my dad asked me if I had ways? And I was like. I wanted to be like, are you, is Christine Aguilera giving you directions? But it's a, like, That's, a thing. Oh, I was asked by my parents because they were like, did you know Christina gives directions now? Oh. People know. Do people just not have Siri do it? No, you can have, because Waze has its own voices. So oh. you just go with what's on Waze. I like my Siri. Mm. She's Irish like me. <laughs> mm-hmm. Anyway, shall we discuss some... New music. New music. Take a dip in the Mother Lake. Take in the cool waters of the Mother Lake. Mm-hmm. Starting with my fave took a dip in the Mother Lake this week. <laughs> and it was freezing cold. No, it was frozen, but it was the sleigh. Yep. So Kaigo is back with a new song. Eight minutes and seven seconds. Did you listen yet? I haven't. Oh. Because I saw it was eight minutes, so I was like, I have to it's an experience. buckle down for this. Oh one. my God. Kaigo is in his Nemo egg era, if you will. Okay. Mm-hmm. Very Mother Lake. Yes. Lit- oh. Why do you have to bring that up? <laughs> she died. Uh, oh, She's God. dead, Aviva. Not me, like, starting to tear up. She's dead. <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, so anyway. Eight minutes, seven seconds. Mm-hmm. Cinematic. Yeah. But also Tropical House BPM with trance sounds but it's also like melodic and tropical and cinematic brilliant sounds like entirely your vibe it's so good it's so good it's like a tour intro it takes you on a journey the lyrics are beautiful it'll look great at the newly installed led screen filled brooklyn mirage oh he's i don't think he's doing that this year okay well whenever he's there it will look good anywhere basically but it's so good the music video really sent me. Oh. Oh, I was like, the true, huh? <laughs> it's very sad, but the lyrics, watch it. Okay. I don't want to spoil it. All right. But it's like, it's very, um, you would think it's about being cold, but the freeze is actually referencing a moment in time. Jordan Sparks. Oh. Oh, <laughs> yes. 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 One moment in time. Freeze mm. the moment. And so in the lyrics, he's saying like, can we just freeze? Because there's this moment where they fall in love. Oh, okay. And I see he, what you they did wants there. to freeze the moment in the summer. So literally Jordan Sparks. Yeah. Okay. And then like you think that the girl D words, uh-huh. but she doesn't. So then I'm like crying watching it. I'm like, oh my God, because I get it, you right. know, the lyrics. But then it finds out that it's just a bad dream. They were both oh. having a bad dream about when their love is gonna end. Oh. And it's like space and their souls can oh my God, it was beautiful. That does sound beautiful. I felt things. Well, that's rare. And isn't that what music is all about? Uh, I thought it's to shake your tits and dance. That's a feeling. That is a feeling. You know, like there's moments where you're like, I feel like I want to shake my tits. Yes. And just because something shake has your a, tits and cry. Yeah, something that has a beat doesn't mean that doesn't it's mean not that I'm going to shake my tits. That's right. As some of the girls know. Oh, we know. <laughs> oh, we know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay, well, we'll uh, be checking we that out. Mm-hmm. Now we're going to be diving into the 
vintage Mother Lake with this next one. Yes. Because the girls are re-recording. Miss Swift is inspiring because, well, actually, we're going to talk about her too. Uh, but Ellie and AJ have re-recorded, remixed, remastered, still iconic, Lake Woe. Actually, though. Yes. Now, <laughs> who was having a conversation about this song? I want to know. <laughs> because nobody was. No. And this I, is an under, like, Bob. Yes. I just wonder if they're doing a Taylor, but just slowly. Slowly. Songs along the way that they'd like to add to the set list. Getting their royalties. You think? Well, at this point, it seems possibly that that could be the case. Or maybe this is like getting a lot of stream numbers because it's a bop, but no one really talks about it. And mm. maybe that's why they did it. That's possible too. Now there is, yeah, there is the TikTok possibility of it. And they did already post like a, do this TikTok with us. Oh. So I think it would be smart of them to jump on the train, try and get another TikTok trending hit. Because I don't see this working for TikTok though. Yeah, I don't I don't know as much. However, I will say it it makes sense as far as their next one to tackle because on their Spotify, potential breakup song mm-hmm. is their top, then slow dancing from the new album and Joan of Arc on the dance floor, and then like whoa. So it was their next one to go if they were gonna do a re-record. Oh. It's their only song on here that isn't of this new independent era. Interesting. So I do think it is quite the sleeper hit for them closure from that album is also chemicals react well yes that one's iconic but like i'm talking deep cut oh closure and flattery yeah i mean this whole album i mean probably the whole album they'll need yeah. to do but go stream it it's so good yeah get but i was it. shook by this i was like oh my god in the cover yeah i was like oh my god that's literally the roller coaster ride get yeah. it there's there's layers yeah to that. Please keep your hands and feet in the ride at all times. Thank you. I love that they re-recorded that. <laughs> yep. Because that's like the best part of it. Yeah. It's like the bridge. I'm pretty... Ladies and gentlemen. I'm pretty shocked they did it. But I love it. They're doing it right. They are doing it right. Girls, pay attention. <laughs> Hillary, if you're out there, she's metamorphosis. On she's not bothered. <laughs> she was just at a killer's concert. Yeah, she was serving that magazine she was just in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> she's bothered, unbothered by the, all of this. Come clean 2022 when? She's busy getting yelled at by her five-year-old in the backseat to turn mm-hmm. up sparks. She has no time. She's like, mommy's not a pop star anymore. I had to correct someone who was incorrectly speaking about Wake Up recently. Where was I? Anyway. <laughs> I can't remember, but... <laughs> We, we anyway stand. anyway we're here to talk about speak of talking body actually mm-hmm. that brings us to one of the toves of the week yeah there's two there's two first of all <laughs> and second of all we'll start with miss tove low who is back with a new song that we did tease last week called uh no one dies from love which immediately became memed on twitter that tweet of Derek barry Doing the oh, no one was killed. Yep. And so we just wrote, no one dies from love. Uh-huh. <laughs> Perfect. She clearly has not watched the ID network. A lot of people dying from love. <laughs> as, as it turns out, it's probably the number one killer among humans. But uh, don't tell her that because then she got to rewrite the song. She got to rewrite the whole song. But uh, actually. I don't want a man in my house. I, Goldberg. My mantra. Yep. I would like to tell everybody to please not only listen to this, but watch the video, because the video is really where it's at. It's very surprising. She basically, it's sort of like the movie You, uh, kind of. Uh, She orders a uh, robot to the home that she falls in love with. and Black Mirror. uh, Black Mirror vibe. It's cool, like retro futurism 70s vibe meets the future. And... um. I don't want to spoil it, but... Oh, I need to watch this. Know. Yes, I think you would really like the video. It's it's very cool how it's done. And some people might die from love. Or Uh-oh. not people. I don't know. But... Is the robot bad? <clears throat> I No, no, the robot oh. is not bad. It's just... Basically, there's always going to be a shinier, better version of you coming at you right up 
from under the stairs. There's always going to be okay. another model. There's oh. always going to be and uh, another fish in the sea. Another another android in the UPS box. Oh. Mm. Another Alexa. It's basically mm-hmm. the the plight of gay dating. Oh yeah. Yeah. Gays are like that. Just swipe to the next the mm-hmm. next one. But anyway, <laughs> No One Dies From Love, and the song itself is a bop. She did it with one half of the Struts, and who they've worked together from the very beginning, Queen of the Clouds onward. Just a good old crying at the disco synth banger. She's independent. She started does a she label. Ever miss? She literally doesn't miss. I don't think she does. And I think it's becoming more clear to people now. Like, I think it's like, okay, we got to get with the program here. Like, she actually doesn't miss. It's always bops. And now she's independent. She's, she's very in a... Very in like yeah, consistent, mm-hmm. yeah, Just Swedish, and yeah. So check that out, and then not to be outdone, we have Tova Stirke. So Tovlo has just like resigned to being called Tovlo, but technically, it's Tuva Stirke is is the other Tov, and it should be like Tuv Tuvalu is how Tovlo is actually pronounced. But a long time ago in interviews, she was like, "I give up. Americans are just going to say Tovlo." Yeah, yeah, just say talk. Just say, <laughs> <laughs> just say, the, yeah, talking oh. body. Um, oh, Bob. Tova Stirke is also here with a new song called You, You, You. And this is also a banger. It's actually got like shades of, I would say, sort of like Nordic ABBA synthiness to it. Very explosive chorus. Um, her album Hard is coming in June. And it's very raw emotions. And the video is her sort of like dual fighting with a male and female like romantic lead. And they're sort of like doing sort of like synchronized dancing in the sand together. She has since come out as queer a few years ago, I believe, and is currently dating a woman. So there's some there's layers to this. We love to see uh, LGBT representation. The song, she's been putting out bops straight in a row. She's opening, she's currently opening for Marina. And I saw her when she was by, when she was performing at Terminal 5. Great show. Iconic people, iconic places. Iconic people in an ancient land. Uh, and yeah, so we have that. And not to be outdone, we have more Scandi pop goodness. Sigrid is also here with an album called How to Let Go. Highly recommend it. She's had bops along the way, including Mirror. Uh, which still is one of my favorites, and Burning Bridges. And the album is fantastic. It's There's a new one that I think I'll uh, highlight in particular. I would say listen to A Driver Saved My Night. That one's a bop. She's had quite a few songs actually doing the rounds on TikTok as well. Mm-hmm, it gets dark. It. Yeah. So check that out if you'd like some good old Norwegian pop goodness. What else we got this week? There was actually quite a bit. Ah, yes. We have the return. Mm-hmm. Some call her Carly Ray, but I think you should call her Carly... Slay! <laughs> ...is back. <clears throat> yes. The breeze is blowing with some Western wind. Carly Ray Immaculate Jeps, a legend, is back mm-hmm. with Western wind, and she is in her solar power lover... Folklorish bag, maybe. Yeah, it's a chiller moment. It's with Rostam, who did Warm Blood on Emotion, and that oh, that adds up. That's the vibe for mm-hmm. sure. I wouldn't mind a full album of Warm Blood, to be honest. Like Same. I think it would be a good vibe for her. And Western Wind is kind of of that genre, and it's a full length song. It is girthy. Thank you. It's got length. <laughs> it's got size. Yes, it's a chiller vibe from her. But it's still in her wheelhouse. I like it. I, you know, it's not run away with me. It's not an anthem necessarily. A little bit of a grower, not a shower, but that's okay. It's an enjoyable, Mm -hmm. mellow listen. It is. Which is perfect for the moment. It is the moment. I also have to confess, because I was live on stream when this (laughs) dropped. So I was edibled. Yeah. And I was on stream and I reacted to this and Kygo in real time. Did you just... Weep. And I loved it. I yeah. was like, this is so good. It was stuck in my head by the end of it. Well, you were like, also probably like seeing colors and tasting sounds. Uh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> but I was vibing with it. Well, I'm glad. Yeah. I was scared it was going to be her Joanne era. Right. I mean, visually it's... some. I know what you're thinking. We're going to be talking about her next. Calm down. We sure will be. We sure will be. <laughs> but yeah, I think visually, yes, it has elements of this sort of like folklore, Joanne. This basically like kind of all the pop girlies go 90s alt singer songwriter pop soak up the sun vibe. Yeah. That a lot of them are going for. And she's in that era right now. I would describe it more as Paris Hilton come alive era. Oh. Yeah. That's like, you know, flowing in trees and flowers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ethereal. Ethereal. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Bop. Well, it's time to. I don't even know an army term to say. It's time to salute our nation's most fearless combat journalist. Mm hmm. And uh, beer drinking, gun, gun slinging, camouflage wearing, good old American, Stephanie Germanata. My Stephanie Germanata. I just here. love that Lady Gaga. <laughs> She's here in her RNC. <laughs> Don't. <era. laughs> do not do her like that. Well, we're here with Top Gun Anthem. Hold my hand. When, in which she wheels out a piano on a landing strip mm-hmm. as Tom Cruise does flips in the air around her. I mean, we didn't even talk about the song yet because it had dropped all in this week and the video, but uh, yeah. it's here. It is a power ballad. Um, the vocals, she sounds good. Do you not like it? <laughs> oh, uh, wow. I... Don't know. It's my. It's not my favorite Lady Gaga ballad. Like that's for sure. Fair. I don't know that the chorus is hitting me, like it needs to. Shallow is just much more effective. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know that was. Mm. Yeah, I think it gives a little '80s power ballad. It has a little bit of Edge of Glory. Mm-hmm. I could also see it being a dance track. Well, of course you could. <laughs> You're already but queuing up it. the remix. No, I mean, if Blood Pop wants to send me the stems, let's go. That opening of the like garbled sound. Oh yeah, that's that's kind of funny. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think I've ever truly disliked a Lady Gaga song. They're always fun to me at most, or just like. Uh, I can't say the same. Actually, okay. There's one or two. There's an album. Oh, I not a whole album, no. Even at, even Joanne has its moments. Dancing in circles. There John Wayne. Some of it's good. Perfect illusion. Oh yeah. I came around to that. Yeah. I think, you know, that'll get a second opinion one day. But anyway, um hold my hand is, you know, I mean, she still has stellar vocals and I just think it's maybe not the most interesting. I don't Yeah, I will say the one thing that kind of threw me off about this whole thing was the fact that she was teasing it during the Met Gala. Oh, yeah. But wasn't at the Met Gala. Yeah. And then news broke. Yeah. And then she's still like, countdown to hold my hand. And I'm like, this is so weird. And then her House Labs promo. Yeah. All was just like very bizarre. Yeah. The timing of everything was very weird. It was like countering pop culture at that moment. And it was just sort of like, Okay. And everyone's like, I was like, okay. Yeah. Like, just show up to the Met Gala dressed as, you know, a a plane. A plane. Yeah. Be the plane. <laughs> and Tom Cruise. So I think can... that's what threw me off yeah. was like the weird juxtaposition of the promo. Sure. But I do like the song and I could see it being a dance ballad. Yeah. And yeah. the memes are sending me. Oh, about her new era. Yeah. Yes. Because absolutely. now we have <laughs> merch. So it's like mask camo uh-huh i'm like who is the lady gaga anyone. top gun logo is pretty fantastic mm, there was nothing top <laughs> about whoever is wearing that no one has okay. ever accused her community <laughs> of being no. top guns Mm-mm. no it's very camp yeah <laughs> <laughs> she loves to do it all what, yeah. what can we say it's also a choice to be like doing the song for 
a movie about like war right yeah. now. I'm like, and Tom uh, Cruise in general. It's yeah, just like, it's All right, like, well, it's, mm, as I tweeted, I hope my fucking Chromatica ball ticket money doesn't go to meeting Xenon with Tom. <gasps> we'll, well see. Yeah, there's just like marketing choices that I thought, yeah, were yeah. interesting. Yeah. Well, she still got the chromatic ball. We do know that Hopefully. at least Shallow and Hold My Hand are being performed. Yep. Pretzel break. Uh, uh, pretzel break. And Free Woman. So we're just going to keep on waiting for those more rehearsal videos to come. Mm-hmm. And uh, and holding our hands. Yes. And sure. our breath. We will be. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anywho, <laughs> the chromatic ball is coming. Yeah. And we have a couple other things coming soon, too. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Welcome to New York. She's been waiting for you. Yep. She's Not starting. that long, but nope. it's here again. Taylor Swift is, um, I mean, it's pretty much confirmed right now, right? Yeah, like we're two songs deep now. Yeah. It's next. Yeah, we've Taylor's got version. This Love has come out, Taylor's version. So that's at least two songs now from 1989. So everyone's thinking that's the next re-recorded album. However, it is Taylor, and she does love a curveball. It's probably just going to be her debut album. <laughs> it's going to be 1989. I mean, I assume so now. Uh-huh. Yeah. So that was a treat for the Swifties. She teased it with like an Amazon show. Yeah. And then, yeah, the song came out. Mm-hmm. New single cover, or like art. Yep. Yeah. Yep. A, a lesser known gem from the album, for sure. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not like one of the major singles by any means. True. So. Shake it off, Taylor's version. <sighs> That's going to be, she needs to rework that. I would not mind it if she completely redid the melody, the beat, the lyrics, the lyrics, and call it something else. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shake it off. How about keep it in? <laughs> <laughs> or shut it off. <laughs> Honestly, log off. She does. Log off. Log <laughs> off. She tends to try it with the lead singles. They're usually the most juvenile. Like, mm-hmm. they're usually the most slap happy. Take me to the mother lake. <laughs> Take me to, yeah. I mean, the lakes, yeah. Yeah. Take me to the mother Re-release lake. Release it. Yeah. But, you know, well, this love is, is a nice, calm entry from the, from the record. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah. 1989 so good. Yeah. Max Martin. And we have one more uh, album to look forward to announcement. We do. We need to cover. She's been teasing it for weeks, if not months, if not years. She's Instagram storied the fuck out of it. And now it is coming. Madonna, speaking of women of New York. (laughs) And TikTok now. And TikTok, unfortunately. Is here with Finally Enough Love. The 50 track collection of remixes celebrating her 50 number one Billboard Mm -hmm. Dance Club hits. Which, as we all know... Back to the Billboard Hot 100 number one song, which you just performed, which is difficult to get. Not everybody has that. Truly, no one has that. She is the only artist to have 50, 50 number ones on that chart. And she's celebrating by bringing out a ton of remixes, a lot of them either never before released at all, like single version edits, some of them never on digital slash streaming. And a few fan favorites along the way. It's a pretty hefty collection. There's also a 16-track abridged collection. Two different album covers. There was some debate in the Discord about what people felt about the covers. Oh, I actually like them. Yeah. I mean, the standard edition is more like... Greatest hits. Tease. The deluxe edition is very greatest hits. It's Mm -hmm. the one with the 500 covers. It's a lot, uh, but you know, I like to see all the work, so that's good. See all these, all the singles it mm-hmm. speaks for itself. She's very also uh, leading the pack. So the girls out there, is there what anyone else is who? Ha- <laughs> <laughs> is there any other girl out there oh, who has fifty number one singles? Right. There probably is. No, that's that's the that is the record. She holds that record. Right. So there's so, no one to compare her to. That's right. she is paving the road she continues like she has been for 90 something years she is oh well working i didn't mean it like that her I way down to... that road oh man i'm gonna cancel traveling down that old 
for yeah. decades. I'll say it like that. She's she the goes queen of pop. on and on and on. She certainly does. Oh, Bob. Is that yeah. number number one? Give it to me. I don't think it should I don't have think, been. I don't think that was on the, yeah. I did do a Twitch stream candy shop where I started one? to play a bunch of them. No. Should That's be. just her fan favorite one that she brings Forbidden out. Forbidden Love. Tour. Oh. Yeah, it's it's all the hits. Minus causing a commotion, which she released separately as a record store day single situation. Because, of course, she couldn't just make it a complete collection. She had to fuck it up somehow. But that's fine. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's all remastered by Mike Dean, who did the last two albums with her. And... Yeah, I got excited, so I started to play a bunch of the remixes to get hypes for it on the DJ stream, and I've remembered how many of them like really, really are so good from the golden era of remixes, like uh, Above and Beyond remix of what it feels like for a girl, ultimate. So, lots to look forward to. There's more on the way. The press release threatened that there's more to come. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse J threatens new album. Oh, yeah. Iconic idolater tweet. My old stomping grounds. Uh, I'm excited for this because she is an icon and this is a great way to kind of capitalize on the attention that she's getting. Yes. She's on TikTok. And, certainly getting attention. Yes. Yeah. You no, know, it's true. It should have happened like Remind sooner. the girls yeah. why you are Madonna. You are Madonna. Thank you. you. Yes. Uh, it's true. It was probably all going to happen sooner with the biopic. Mm-hmm. I know that boot camp is still in the works, but she signed a deal with Warner to do a full catalog reissue. They're rolling out all sorts of special activations allegedly for this. So we'll see. But yeah, this was the big thing that was in the works for a while. I'm excited for it. I am ready to play a lot of these remixes. So yeah, just remind the girls who she is. Mm-hmm. The original material girl truly <laughs> truly and now we just need some djs to like rip a chorus from one of the classics and put it on a new beat and make her go viral again oh i'll work on that yeah exactly i'll try and see what i can come up with yeah so there you have it finally enough love finally here finally mm-hmm. at first i thought it was called finally enough it, and I was like, oh. Should be. Which I kind of cracked up after. Yeah. And I was like, oh, no, it's finally enough. Oh, it's love. probably a bit sarcastic on her end, too. It's like, finally enough. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know. Well, she did um, also do other things this week. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> Does she not want to talk about it? Well, uh, it, ha- it happened. Yes. It's, it happened. Uh, she, she performed with performed, Maluma. Yes, at his homecoming concert in Colombia. She certainly did perform. They did Medellin, and then she did music. Um, it's just some onstage antics, just mm-hmm. goofing around, being who she is. It was her first big performance like that since the hip surgery and everything and all the rehab and all of that. So there was some anticipation about how that would go. We're going to ease into that again for the live shows. I am not going to tolerate any Madonna slander. Oh, I'll be the first to slander and then pay $1,500 to be front kids, row. Dragging her. No, but she does because it to herself a bit because she, she doesn't does. have to right. do all that she does. Right. Um, I do have a concept for her that mm-hmm. I think could slay, but at the same time, she's Madonna. She's Madonna. And if that were a man at that age, like many of them do, going up there, unable to sing, don't move, mm-hmm. no one says anything, mm-hmm. they're called rock stars. And they're called whatever they call yes. the men. I'm just saying. No, I. So I will not tolerate the. Oh no, old lady, get off the stage. Go say that to the men. Yes, they've been saying that since 1993's girly show headlines. Mm-hmm. 1993. Um, yeah, they've been saying it forever. There's like a very. I always tweet it out. Like every now and then, like there's a headline that's like, "Pack it up, grandma," and mm-hmm. she was 30. Yeah. Um, from from the girly show and it's like oh that's always followed her yep so that doesn't affect me as much as just she came in wrong on the song a multiple times and there was just a bit of like actual professional sloppiness that was like oof i Mm -hmm. that you just would never expect from her right it's fine it's it's all good it's it's part of the uh spectacle of madonna now uh know what i want her to lean into 
You know how we had like the Joanne hat and like Sia has the wig? Yes, and we're begging her to get rid of the grills. Oh yeah, but that's been for that's decades. Been for, yeah. I, especially now, I like, you know, she had the hip surgery yeah. and whatever. Yeah. I really want her to own the throne, if you will. Ooh. Like the Super Bowl entrance. Yeah. I think she could do some really stunning stuff with like a throne, like yeah. step into that queen of pop role. We don't need you to be doing all that. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying yeah. to criticize her because. No, it's just, I think she'll just always refuse. She she wants to be in your face and she will be always. Right. But I, I know what you're saying. I do love a regal Madonna. Like yes. I love a throne. I love a crown. I love a scepter. Mm-hmm. Yes, like she really yeah. like owns that. And she's used like, she's had like. Yeah, the... oh yeah. Several times mm-hmm. she's had some thrones. But, you know. She's really goofy right now. She like, really I thought loves that could have really worked for that moment where she came out of the center, like, and oh, she's yeah. just sitting there on a throne, and it's yep. like, "Bitch, I'm Queen Madonna." Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I agree. Yeah, the fit wasn't my favorite by far, but it's the love hate with her. It's still Madonna, so I'm still right. gagged. It's just I'm still talking about her. So. Still talking about her, and I will still be spending all my money on giving her all my love in. Yeah. Give me all your coins <laughs> and give me your coins. <laughs> Always. It's an action packed week. Sure was. Yeah. Let us know on discord. You can find us on socials at legends only underscore pod. Let us know what you're listening to. Who is on your F Y P. <laughs> Yes, and as always, you can listen to the Legends Only Weekly playlist to listen to every song referenced in this podcast, as chaotic as it may be. Mm -hmm. All bops. The only place you're definitely going to hear Kygo's Freeze and Jordan Sparks Freeze back to back. Yep. Where else? (laughs) Where else? Only here. And uh, until you freeze this moment, uh, we hope that you have a wonderful week wherever you are. And until next time. We will. See you. Soon. I'm going to have to figure out how to make chords underneath my Lana Del Rey singing. You actually will. God yeah. damn it. I'm going to be like looking up what key did I just sing that in? <laughs> just look up Lana Del Rey strings. You could totally do it. Oh, I 